bomb threat scare. Drivers facing major delays tonight at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport after the sheriff's office evacuates part of Terminal 1. NBC 6's Lorena Inglon is live from the airport. The entrance to departures was also closed during this incident. It was, and that's where we are right now. It was closed for hours as police investigate, investigated this incident. As you can see right now, traffic is flowing. It just opened up in the last hour and a half or so, so it is back to normal. But, man, did it cause delays here. Even after the all clear was given, there was a long line of cars trying to get in, causing major headaches for passengers. Sunday afternoon at Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood International Airport turned into a headache for those arriving and those trying to leave. As I said, it was a bomb threat. I didn't realize yes. that there was a bomb threat. At around 5.30, the Broward Sheriff's Office responded to a bomb threat in the upper level of Terminal 1. The incident led to massive delays as rows of cars tried to get in and passengers waited outside with nowhere to go. Sheriff's deputies were spotted inside the airport while patrol cars guarded outside. The incident led to an evacuation of the upper level of Terminal 1 and the closure of the departure's roadway entrance. And we couldn't get up to the floor to check in. And I have a connection, so after a wonderful trip with Punta Cana, um, I'm trying to get home. Okay, now. BSO says deputies detained a man for questioning, but investigators have not released more details about that man or what he was carrying. Three hours later, around 8.30 p.m., Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport posted on X, giving the all clear. But it was too late for some passengers who wound up missing their flights. We've been kind of stopped up for a while, but as long as everybody's safe, that's very all managed. Now, some passengers posting on X, formerly known as Twitter, were complaining about the lack of communication during this incident. Now, we're still waiting from BSO to see if the person who was detained ended up getting arrested and facing charges. We're waiting to get details from them. But the good news is that operations are back to normal, and you can see no red lights back here. Traffic is flowing smoothly. Reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood International Airport, Lorena Inclan, NBC6 News.